Hi, welcome to another episode of Slightly Mad Science. Today our topic is magnesium. Magnesium is a very useful element. Actually, you need trace amounts of it in your body to stay alive. It's also a strong, lightweight material that is used in metallic alloys to form car bodies, automobile frames. Volkswagen uses a large amount of magnesium in their engines, actually. And also, if you have a hot water tank, most likely you have something similar to this inside of it. This is called a sacrificial rod. Inside a hot water tank, it corrodes more quickly than the inside of your hot water tank, preventing your tank from rusting through and having water gushing all over your floor. Good thing. But I'm not here to talk about all the other wonderful properties of magnesium. I'm going to focus on one specific trait. The property of magnesium that we're going to be focusing on is magnesium, when ignited, produces an incredibly intense, impossible to ignore, high energy, white flame. Leave Brittany alone! If you, if you leave Brittany alone, I, I give you a cookie! Give me cookie! Ah! Give me cookie! Cookie not for you! Cookie for people, leave Brittany alone! Z is for cookie, now be good and give to me! I keep telling you, the cookie's not for you! Give me cookie, or there will be pain! Why are you so obsessed about this cookie? You're crazy, this is madness! Madness? This is Cookie! Um, 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 um. You big meaty owl! Okay, maybe not that kind of white flame. I'm thinking more like actual fire. Actually, I have a few examples. I'm going to be taking powdered magnesium, which the reason why it's powdered is because the more you break something down that's flammable, the smaller it is, the higher the surface area being exposed to the flame, thus the more energy when it combusts. <clears throat> that kind of thing. And it really goes off with a whole lot of light. As a matter of fact, magnesium, in addition to burning at about 20, over 2,000 degrees Celsius, being over 4,200 degrees Fahrenheit, very hot, it also burns with the kind of light similar to three times as bright as looking directly into the sun. So, needless to say, this demonstration is dangerously stupid. Don't try this at home. 